As the storm is heading towards Florida, some scientists have been heading towards the storm, flying directly into the hurricane to collect data. This is the view of the eye earlier today, and this was the view from the flight deck during that mission. The turbulent ride enough to startle even seasoned hurricane hunters. Joining me now is one of the crew members on that flight today, Lieutenant Commander Josh Renberg with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you. So we just saw that extraordinary video. Take us inside your flight. You flew through this storm today. What did you learn, Commander? Yeah, I mean, it, it just solidified today, especially today and yesterday's mission were both uh, significant. It was the craziest storm I've ever flown in, hands down. And uh, I, I watched this turn into a monster from a tropical storm, both in terms of its reach and in terms of its power. So it's difficult to watch now after seeing it from the inside as it bears down on my home. Mm. Uh, we're seeing more of this video, the way in which you all are bouncing around as you fly through the storm. You say it's different than any other storm you've flown through. I mean, just in the strength and, and what is the takeaway for folks who are on the ground like yourself who have homes there? Yeah, in terms of strength, definitely. The turbulence and the wind shear that we felt, the amount of lightning that I've seen inside this storm has been tenfold compared to most of the other storms that I've flown in. And I've been doing this now for five hurricane seasons. I've penetrated the eye of a hurricane over 150 times, and this was definitely the worst I've seen. So I think my message to anybody who's still in the area where it's making landfall is to shelter in place. Mm. And what does the data that you gathered tell you about the impact that Milton will have when it does make landfall? Uh, the data, the research data that we collect goes directly into the supercomputer forecast models and it helps reduce the margin of error between the forecast and what actually happens, not just for this storm, but for every storm in the future. And uh, I think that it's it's a, it's a testament to what the NOAA hurricane hunters bring to the table and the service they provide this country. And, what and I'm, is, I'm proud to be a part of it. What does the data specifically that you gathered on Milton tell you? How does it compare to other storms? Uh, the, the, just from what I've seen, the perspective that I've seen is from the cockpit. So my, my view is kind of scope blocked on what's going on with the aircraft. The winds I've seen or the strongest I've ever seen at the mm. altitude we fly inside the storm at, the turbulence was the most severe that I've ever seen. So I think that's just a testament that what a monster this storm really turned into. And I know this is your job, but boy, we see you all up in the middle of this storm, this storm that so many people are fleeing, and in some ways you're flying right in the middle of it. Do you ever get scared doing this? Uh, on these past couple of missions, I don't think my crew and I had much time to be scared. <laughs> we had a job to do, and we were doing it. Well, it's pretty extraordinary. As you look to the future, Commander, do you anticipate that storms of this strength, like Milton, will become the new normal, particularly given what we just saw with Helene? You know, I, I have such a small view on what's been going on with the, with the hurricane seasons over time. Like I said, I've been doing it for five seasons, but it's such a small blip in the grand scheme of things. I really can't tell you what to expect in the future versus the past but I can tell you that this storm is real. And your message loud and clear that folks heed the warnings to evacuate. Lieutenant Commander Josh Randenberg, thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate your perspective. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.